Payne Lynn Ferdin, a timeless figure in the entertainment industry, is celebrated for qualities that have solidified her status as a lasting symbol. Her impact on the industry reflects not just talent, but also resilience that resonates with audiences across generations. Lesser known facts and anecdotes about her add layers to a fascinating story, shedding light on the person behind the roles. As we explore her life, expect to uncover a mix of funny, shocking, and poignant details. What memories or personal experiences do you hold dear regarding this classic actor? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching as we reveal more about Ferdin's journey, a series of moments both heartwarming and surprising. Painland Ferdin, a stalwart in the entertainment sphere, left an indelible mark on the film industry, not merely through her acting prowess, but also for the enduring resilience that reverberates through time. Her influence extends beyond her era, shaping the landscape of Hollywood and setting a standard for generations to come. In the realm of Hollywood, Ferdin's contributions transcend the screen. Her foray into the industry showcased a talent that went beyond the superficial, delving into the intricacies of each role she undertook. The impact of her performances was not just measured by the applause of her contemporaries, but resonated with audiences, creating a lasting connection that spans decades. What distinguishes Ferdin is not just her on-screen charisma, but the way she navigated the complex dynamics of the film industry. Her journey unveils a tapestry woven with funny, shocking, and poignant anecdotes, providing a multifaceted view of the person behind the roles. This nuanced approach allowed her to etch her name into the annals of Hollywood history. In the world of entertainment, Ferdin's influence reverberates far beyond the set. Her choices in roles, be they heartwarming or surprising, became a testament to her ability to captivate audiences while leaving an enduring mark on the industry's landscape. As a thespian, her impact transcended mere performances. It became a narrative woven into the very fabric of Hollywood's evolution. Ferdin's journey is not just a mark in the timeline of Hollywood, but a chapter that continues to be studied and cherished. Her resilience, talent, and the subtle nuances she brought to each character have become a benchmark for aspiring actors. She didn't merely leave a legacy, she shaped a vibrant and lasting presence in the world of entertainment. In conclusion, Painlin Ferdin's journey is a remarkable exploration of talent, resilience, and the enduring impact one individual can have on the film industry. Her story, filled with captivating moments and groundbreaking performances, stands as a captivating chapter in the narrative of Hollywood. Painwin Ferdin, a familiar face in entertainment, once found herself at a crossroads of opportunity and missed chances. In 1973, she competed for the role of Regan McNeil in The Exorcist alongside fellow child actress Dana Plato. However, the part ultimately went to Linda Blair, who was only 13 days older than Ferdin. Fast forward to the early 2000s, Ferdin faced legal trouble. Known for her passionate stance as an animal activist, she risked jail time in January 2000. The charge stemmed from her involvement in a protest against circus training methods in August 1999, where she was found guilty of carrying an elephant bullhook, a sharp tool used to instill fear in the majestic creatures. Despite facing up to six months behind bars, Ferdin received a 30-day sentence showcasing her dedication to the cause. Before these events unfolded, Ferdin made her mark on the small screen. In The Odd Couple, she portrayed Edna Unger, Felix's daughter, a role that showcased her versatility. Notably, the original voices of Linus and Lucy from the Peanuts animated programs made appearances in early episodes, adding an interesting layer to the show's dynamic. Christopher Shee, as the across-the-hall neighbor Philip, further enriched the series with his presence. Painlin Ferdin's journey in the entertainment industry is marked not only by her acting endeavors, but also by her commitment to causes close to her heart. From vying for coveted roles to facing legal challenges for the sake of animal welfare, her narrative is one of resilience and unwavering principles. Painlin Ferdin's career reflects versatility in both television and film. A notable role was in Space Academy, where she acted alongside Brian Tachai. The duo later reunited in a Star Trek, the original series episode titled, And the Children Shall Lead. Moving from space adventures to horror, Ferdin played Laurie Ballard in The Toolbox Murders, marking her final role before exploring minor TV roles and eventually pursuing a nursing career in 1979. In a candid 1995 interview, Ferdin revealed a less glamorous side to her acting journey. She admitted that acting wasn't her initial choice, attributing her involvement to her mother's insistence. The Toolbox Murders became a turning point, 
After completing the film, she firmly declared her exit from the acting scene to her mother. Despite leaving acting, Ferdinand's influence endured. Her commitment to animal rights activism became a defining chapter in her life post-Hollywood. This transition showcased a different facet of her character, emphasizing her principles beyond the spotlight. Noteworthy is that her appearances in Space Academy and the Toolbox Murders happened around the same time, highlighting her versatility within the industry. These roles, though contrasting, demonstrate her ability to navigate diverse genres. Pamelin Ferdinand's journey, marked by pivotal roles and an eventual exit from the spotlight, unveils a layered narrative. It encompasses not just the characters she portrayed, but the resilience and principles that shaped her post-acting endeavors. Pamelin Ferdinand, celebrated for her versatile roles in both TV and film, enjoyed a close friendship with Peter Robbins, adding a personal touch to her entertainment industry journey. In one standout role as Laurie Ballard in The Toolbox Murders, a framed drawing of Linus Van Pelt from the Peanuts cartoon adorned Laurie's house. Interestingly, Ferdinand lent her voice to Lucy Van Pelt, Linus's sister, in various Peanuts TV and movie specials. This interconnection in her work highlights the subtle threads weaving through different aspects of her career. Notably, Ferdinand was initially considered for the role of Penny in the 1977 animated film The Rescuers, though another actress eventually took on the part. This incident sheds light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics of casting decisions often overlooked by audiences. These connections and missed opportunities offer a glimpse into the web of relationships and decisions shaping an actor's career. Ferdinand's journey, marked by moments of camaraderie and near misses, adds depth to her legacy. Pamelin Ferdinand, known for her impactful roles, made a significant shift from the entertainment world to become a vocal animal rights activist. In 1996, she left her position as the Director of Public Relations at the Center for Animal Care and Control, citing mismanagement by the agency. This marked a crucial moment in her life, showing her commitment to principles beyond the spotlight. Interestingly, in the 1971 film The Beguiled, Ferdin, an advocate for animals, portrayed a character deeply connected to them. Her role opposite Clint Eastwood showcased a little girl expressing love, protection, and care for animals, notably a crow and a turtle. This contrast between her on-screen character and her real-life passion for animal welfare adds an interesting layer to her career. Moving away from acting in the 80s, Ferdin took a different path, embracing a career in nursing. Married to a surgeon, she chose a life without children, demonstrating her commitment to both family and her chosen profession. Ferdinand's journey isn't solely defined by her acting roles. In a twist of fate, she narrowly missed the opportunity to play Regan MacNeil in The Exorcist in 1973. Despite setbacks, her dedication to causes close to her heart remained unwavering. In 2000s, legal troubles surfaced due to her involvement in an animal rights protest, highlighting her willingness to face consequences for her principles. Exploring various roles in television and film, Ferdinand's versatility is evident in her collaboration with Brian Tachai in Space Academy and their reunion in a Star Trek, the original series episode. The Toolbox Murders marked her exit from acting, and a candid interview in 1995 revealed that acting wasn't her initial choice, underscoring the less glamorous side of her journey. A personal touch to her entertainment industry story is seen in her friendship with Peter Robbins, who shared the screen with her in The Toolbox Murders. Additionally, connections between her roles and her involvement in the Peanuts cartoons offer a glimpse into the dynamics shaping an actor's career. In conclusion, Pamelin Ferdinand's story goes beyond Hollywood glitz, serving as a reminder of resilience, principles, and the interconnected threads of relationships and decisions that shape a career. Her influence extends beyond the screen, resonating in her choices and unwavering commitment to animal rights.